Okay guys, I went to a store today and found this display. I'm in the garage right now, so it's a mess. But I found this display, which obviously by the color of it, maybe you guys know what store it is from. But this entire display was thrown away with every single piece on here. This pasta roller attachment um, is, I think like $200. Um, this ravioli maker right here online is, wow, I wanna say definitely over $100. Um, maybe you can see from the store. Oh, this is $179. Uh, so one of my biggest scores ever, I'm gonna clean this all up. I'm so excited. I'll show you the rest of the stuff uh, that I managed to pull out of there and I'll show you everything once it's cleaned up. Okay, so I've managed to get all the pieces off. Um, this one I don't think I'm gonna be able to use because of the holes that attached it to the display. So I'm gonna Google that, I'm not sure. Um, the fettuccine maker is right here. This is the pasta roller. Uh, this is a grain mill, which I've never done that. You, I don't even know what I'm gonna grind here, like oats and stuff, I have no idea. Uh, this is a pasta press. All the attachments, as you can see, are right up top. Small macaroni, I can see right there. Um, so all the pieces are still attached on this one. And then you guys might be aware this one is the meat grinder. And then in here, I have the shredder. So as you can see right here, I'm starting to slowly just clean it off. And it's coming right off with a Brillo pad. So I'm going to have a $200 piece of equipment on all these pieces that were at least a couple hundred dollars each. It's all gonna be brand new. This is my mixer right here. It all attaches to this piece right here. You just unscrew this. And then all the pieces are universal. They go right in there. So I'm gonna clean these all up and I will show you what they look like when I get all done. Okay, so this is everything that was on that display. It's taken me about, I don't know, six hours or so or more because I did it last night as well after I found this stuff. Um, clearly there is some paint here, some spray paint that I'm not gonna be able to get off, but everything is clean and ready to use. Uh, this part was actually glued onto here. This is like the storage case for the um, for the presses. And it was glued in so hard that I actually gave up last night because I was so frustrated and my hands were so sore from trying to get this out. Um, and then I decided today that in order to get the paint, pieces of paint off that I couldn't get off, I would try mineral spirits. Uh, so I did put mineral spirits inside here, just like in the crack in the crevice, and then it did end up coming out shortly after that. I just wiggled it and then it just popped right out. So these are all the presses that come with it. There's Fusili and Bucatini that focuses. Um, so right now the Rigatoni was attached to it. This isn't attached really because it was a display, but I sort of just did the best that I could to get this on here. And then this was screwed in at this point right here, if that focuses, so that no one could steal this press off of here. So this display pretty much kicked my butt. I mean, it's been a lot of scrubbing and a lot of elbow grease. I can't even begin to tell you. Um, this right here is the fettuccine press that came out of it. Uh, this one was the one that I actually found in the dumpster first before I found anything else. Uh, so they managed to get this off the display and I think because these were so stuck on there they just totally gave up. 
This right here is the pasta roller. As you can see, there's still some paint in there that I just don't have the energy to. Maybe someday I will, but for me, it's totally fine. This part right here is about a uh, hundred dollars just for this one alone. Um, this one is the one that you stick the pasta through and it makes the long sheet so you can make lasagna sheets out of it. Or you could take it from here and then put it in here to get fettuccine, etc. This bad boy gave me the most trouble on that board. They were connected on the back by these metal clamps that were so ridiculous. I took every power tool, every tool, and every... I even went as far as to put a knife through the crack and then attempt to hack off the bolt that was holding this onto the board. And I did that for about four hours before I just said, screw it. And I just started hammering this side, which looks a little beat up. You can see it in there, but I just started beating it from the other side because I was so over it. Um, and then it flew out. So after four hours and my wrist just completely hurting, it finally worked and I'm couldn't be more excited about it. This piece right here, I think is like 199 or 179. I can't remember. I think this one was 179, but, um, there is some paint in there. I did the best that I could. This is the only, uh, thing that KitchenAid makes for the attachments. That's actually a hand press. So you control it. Um, so hence why this big ball in the back, um, and there's paint on there. I'm going to run test dough through it. It'll be totally fine. This is the meat grinder. I don't have the attachment that goes in here to push the meat down. Um, but when I was, I'm a culinary graduate. So when I was in culinary school, we used to just stick wooden spoons in there all the time. No problemo. I got all this paint stuck on here. It's totally fine for me. This is the grain mill, so you can choose whether you want larger or smaller to make uh, different size flowers. And then the auger is in there. Like These are all legit pieces. There's still some paint on there that I don't even care about. I'm over it. Um, and then this is the shredder, which I know comes with a bunch of attachments. And clearly, I won't have that option unless I buy more of like an extra set of these or whatever. Um, but you stick it through the top here and then it shreds it and comes out of the bowl into, uh, that. And then this poor guy, I don't know if I'm going to use or not. There is a hole that goes all the way through to the other side. So if I find a bolt and a screw that can fit it, maybe I'll use it. Maybe I also have to purchase, which I found on eBay already for $10 the spinny thing on the inside that actually spins the ice cream. Um, these are $79.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, so there's a chance that I might save it, but I do have like a Cuisinart uh, like ice cream maker already. So I'm just not really sure how that's gonna work. But all in all, I would have spent, I added it up, 800 and nine dollars and ninety four cents, I believe it was, on these pieces of equipment right here. So they're dumpster finds, but they're all perfectly good for me. This is one of the best things I've ever found. Like I said, I'm a degree. I have a degree in culinary arts, so this is just like I would have never spent two hundred dollars on this ravioli maker because. That's just crazy. I can make it by hand. But the fact that I found this in a dumpster is literally the coolest thing ever. Um, I'm going to try these guys out. But yeah, everything definitely works. I've put each piece into the mixer. Um, I'll just take you on a little tour over here. But I've definitely put each piece into the mixer here. Okay, hold on. That's a little far away. Maybe it would be better if I can get it closer to me. 
Okay, so that's in now. And then you take this piece, put it in. Sorry if my hands are awful looking right now. They have been through what feels like hell and back in the last 12 hours. So you just screw this in and then I'll plug it in real quick and turn the machine on. And you can see down in there that the auger is moving. These are all definitely genuine working pieces. The grain would be falling from right here right now. So super cool. I won't annoy you with the sound or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. So can't wait for you guys to possibly find these items at your local store in the dumpster today or hopefully this weekend. So excited for you guys. Uh, can't wait for your guys' videos when you post them. So have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys soon.